issues, and that is in the form of those stimulus checks deposited directly into their accounts. The government started issuing those payments to those eligible over the weekend. And NBC 4's consumer investigator Randy Mack joins us again tonight. Randy is live, and he's got the latest on when you can expect your check. Randy. And Chuck, most of the first wave of those economic impact payments, we're talking about $1,200 for adults and $500 for, for children 17 and under, those went out over the weekend for people who've been paying their taxes over the last couple of years and if they have direct deposits. So people who have those issues all settled should be seeing their checks in the mail, by, in, their, in their accounts actually by tomorrow. But people who haven't, it's going to take a bit longer before they get their checks. Stimulus checks is a trending topic on Twitter. Some of it is joking and disparaging of the process, while others are pleasantly surprised to see the first deposit in their accounts. One poster writing, got my hashtag stimulus checks. Another one posts, so was playing around in Cash App and my stimulus check hit. For those who think everyone is lying about the stimulus check. A third person posted, got mine, but for three people, oh Lord, here we go. The first checks issued over the weekend went to taxpayers who filed taxes in 2018 or 2019 and have direct deposit on file with the IRS. So when can you expect to see your check if you don't have direct deposit? The IRS says April 24th it will begin sending paper stimulus checks to taxpayers earning less than $10,000 a year. May 1st, taxpayers earning between ten dollars and $20,000 start receiving paper checks. May 8th, taxpayers earning between twenty dollars and $30,000 get checks mailed to them. And between May and September this year, paper checks will continue to be issued from the lowest to the highest income based on 2018-2019 tax filings. September 4th, the IRS will mail any remaining checks to married couples earning the joint maximum amount of income eligible to receive the benefit, which is $198,000. And finally, on September 11th, the IRS will start sending checks to people who are eligible but did not provide contact information to the agency, provided the IRS can locate them. Now, if you haven't filed your taxes for 2018 or 2019, go ahead and do it. You still have time. If you include your direct deposit information, that will help you get your, uh, your stimulus checks monies a lot faster. Now, if you receive Social Security and you don't file taxes, don't worry. You don't have to do anything. Social Security is part of the government, so they have your information. They'll get you your money. Lastly, the IRS is working to open a web app tool, a portal, if you will, called Get My Payment. That is so you can plug in a little bit of personal information and be able to track when your stimulus check is going to arrive in your, in your account. We're told that the launch date for that app is going to be this Friday. And an update to another story that we've been covering regarding auto insurance. Last week, there were some auto insurance companies that said that they were going to start issuing premium refunds to some customers. And now California's insurance commissioner, Ricardo Lara, says that everyone needs to get on board. Now, insurance commissioner Ricardo Lara did issue an order saying that all car insurance companies must issue partial refunds for March and April if the pandemic continues. Lara said that he's going to consider requiring uh, funds refunds for May as well. Now, the companies have until August to issue the refunds, which will likely come in the form of credits on your bill. But how much will you get? That's going to vary per customer. The commissioner said that he's going to be watching to make sure that companies are being fair. And if you're having a tough time um, paying your insurance bill due to COVID-19, Commissioner Lara is urging you to go ahead and t call your insurance company and let them know that insurers are supposed to be, or law is urging the insurers to give customers at least 60 days to be able of a grace period to be able to pay those bills. So if you do need help in paying your auto insurance bill, now is the time to go ahead and let your auto insurance company know that so that you can get that grace period and also so that you can potentially get your refund. Reporting live in Chino Hills, I'm Randy Mack for NBC4. Chuck, back to you.